For I have satiated the weary soul, and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. Jeremiah 31, 25. Good morning, everybody. In the overwhelming, hair-raising, and depressing prophecies of Jeremiah, God repeatedly told his people he would destroy them for their obstinate and hardened hearts. Yet, in the middle of these powerful and scorching warnings, God also slips in passages that soar with hope and grace. Can you think of anything more reassuring than God's promise to refresh the weary and satisfy the faint? For 70 years, that's all Israel had had was God's promise. But when the time came, God made good on his word. I believe he will do the same with us today. Great shepherd, I'm tired and weary. Please refresh my spirit and my body. Please help me find satisfaction in the abundance you have already so graciously shared with me. To you belongs all glory, honor, strength, and power. I joyously submit myself in faith, waiting for the rest and satisfaction you have promised. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Guys, I ask that you would please join me in prayer for my grandson, Zion Alexander. Um, he's <clears throat> he's uh, struggling right now, and if you don't know, he has uh, trisomy 18, and um, it's not, it's a very grim uh outlook on this um this condition and babies don't do well with it and they don't usually survive um very long and sometimes it's a few hours sometimes it's a few days a weeks um and we were praying for a miracle and so um he's little zion is struggling right now please lift up him and his mom and dad um, in prayer. Thank you guys. God bless you.